Welcome to Tanked Up, the podcast all about video games and beer. I'm Ben, and I'm here with Lucy. Hello, once again. Hey. We're here again. We are, just the mm. two of us yeah. this evening. Just to have a little chat about a game, because we've both been super busy. Not playing Somewhat. games, really. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just not really, I wouldn't call it busy, just <laughs> don't play games. Games are too long. And that's Well, that's very true. Yeah. That's fair. Yeah. Yeah, and Adil is out put, doing putting research proposals together and doing corrections on theses, mm. dissertation type mm. stuff and things. So he's out for this week, but we are going to have a beer each, I believe. If you did find yes. one, in the yes, I did. Fortunately, Fortunately. what are you going to drink, Lucy? I think it might be one I've had on the podcast okay. already. It's a Daya. Mm. Um, it's just a glimmer. Mm, so you can see. You, you've know. definitely had it. Looks it, very glimmery with that light. Mm, it's, it's a different can from what it used to be. I'm sure it used to be purple or something. Okay. Um, you've you've probably had it before. It, mm. it's, it's one of their older ones, so it's been around for quite some time. Yeah. Um, let me read the can. It's four percent, and. Just a Glimmer is a Citra Heady House Style Session Pale Ale. This beer has bright aromatic of citrus fruits and pine, while the mouthfeel is delicately soft yet spritzy. Complete juicy deliciousness at a uh, moderate AB. Yeah, that's four percent. That's quite low. If anyone can do a juicy low percentage beer, it's going to be there. Yeah. That still tastes pretty good. Nice. Uh, I am going to drink um, from Polly's Brew Company. Mm -hmm. The takes there? takes a little time IPA. It's one of those style of cans that they put out, which was part of the I think their augmented mm. um, release of beers. Although I don't think that says anything about that uh, line of beers on here anymore. And I know they're still putting out the like full kind of photo ones as well around the can full mm -hmm. photo wraps uh but this is yeah it takes a little time an ipa uh with columbus citra aquinot and simcoe and the yeast is london ale 3 7.2 percent don't give me any of the malts just puts down that they're allergens of gluten barley and wheat mm -hmm. so i don't know what the malts are but yeah four hops ipa 7.2 percent quite high we'll see what it's like hmm very nice, really yes, nice. yes. So, how's the day, Lucy? My camera's still going crazy, but I want to show. It? Yeah. Maybe it's Discord. Maybe Discord's misbehaving. Yeah. Anyway, that's a um, big head. Yeah. <laughs> uh, it's probably, it's light straw coloured. Um, mm. it's, it's quite opaque. It's quite cloudy. Very hazy, as you'd expect from Daya. Um, yeah, it's a big head. It's like four finger white froppy head at the moment. <laughs> It'll go Aroma. down. Mm. Aroma. Getting, getting some light fruits, like maybe a bit of peach, mm. bit of lemon, bit of that good old Daya house yeast. Nice. Very nice. If you've experienced that for yourself, you know it's really yeah. good. But um, yeah. Good looking beer. Nice smell. Mm. Is it allowing you? Is mm. the head allowing you to take a big sip? Yeah. Yeah, it's quite subdued. Like the taste. Yeah. Mm. I, don't know, I don't know if I have fonder memories of this beer, but um, yeah, it's still nice. Like it's still got like the light citrus tropical fruit taste mm. to it. <laughs> Yeah, maybe because I've had so many of these before, it's hard for me to act <laughs> surprised. Yeah, <laughs> I, don't, yeah, I, don't I can't remember if it's... When um, you've got that, like, day of taste, when, you've, yeah. when you kind of, you know almost sort of yeah. what to expect, I suppose it's, it's, it's suddenly then trying to pick out the different sort of nuances mm. in what they're doing, rather than kind of like the beer as a, a whole, almost, because mm -hmm. they've got their style down to a, down to a T, really. Yeah. Yeah, it's really light, really light bodied easy you know just, just goes down really easily mm. it's not thin as such 
because you're still getting like a bit of creaminess. I think that's from the head that's still there. Yeah. So you're still getting that like creamy texture. Um, because it is. I mean, it is really, really opaque. So yeah. You would expect to have it that like kind of hazy, slight thickness to it, but yeah, it's just easily goes down. It's light, citrusy, fruity. Not much bitterness on the back end though, but yeah, it's really pleasant beer. This is what you'd call a summer beer. Nice. Okay. Mm. Have you had it for very long? Did you buy no, it like weeks ago? Or... Probably last week. Okay. Uh, um, do you have a date on the can? No, it was probably, you know, like these fly off the shelf, so it was probably mm. canned like a week ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm. Nice. Mm. Good, good. Um, the pollies, um, I don't know whether it's just I haven't had a sip yet, but in the noses, it's actually quite light. I was expecting something mm. maybe a little bit bigger, um, especially with something like a QAnot in there, giving a bigger kind of, a bigger hit, but. Mm -hmm. It's quite light, little tropical kind of fruit nose. Not very much going on. Oh, you can see it's you know a bit more um, a, a bit more orange murk yeah. um, than your sort of straw coloured one. It's it's got a lovely orange sort of tinge to it. It's not orange. It's just got mm -hmm. that like, like little highlight of orange to it. Um, mm -hmm. Just with a very deep centre as well. I don't know whether you quite get that on the on the glass uh, on the camera there, but oh, yeah. if you put it under the under the um, under the light. You've got this nice sort of um, slightly paler edges to it, with that lovely deep sort of centre to it. Mm. Um, the head disappeared really quickly on that, but I take a big swig. I mean, the Acuanot punches in mm. very much in that in the flavour. You're getting some sort of some light tropical fruits, mm. maybe maybe a little bit of pineapple mm. coming through in there. It doesn't have a any kind of you know there's no sort of like sweet melon or, or anything mm. like that kind of kicking in through as well. It's all a little bit um, subdued in that front. So I'm getting a little bit of fruit. It then kicks into this nice pithy bitterness, which is obviously the the acunot kicking in massively mm. uh, over the top of everything and that just seems to linger as well so whilst it's quite dry mm. and i could definitely have another sip now that bitterness is still at the back of my throat it's right. still just sat there and i don't have to reach for it almost it kind of yeah. just keeps the edge off it being too dry even though it's a, it's a bitterness you'd expect it to be you know having me reaching for the reaching for the can but there's something mm -hmm. in this which is just keeping away that dryness even though i can feel it in my in my mouth yeah. um very very uh light um you know at, right at the start those those fruit flavors and i think mm. this really sort of highlights that big bitterness more than anything whether that fruit is yeah. kind of there just to give you something else so it's not just a big bitter mm -hmm. beer it does have a little bit of a fruit kind of punch to it at the start it sounds well balanced then. Mm. And I don't mean fruit punch. <laughs> yeah. fruit punch. And punch punchiness there. Although it could be a fruit punch. It's definitely definitely pineapple-y. And there's mm. something else going on in there as well. Something that may reveal itself a little bit more as it um, as I get accustomed mm -hmm. to the uh, to the flavour. I should stick the rest of that in my can. So uh. this week. We haven't got a huge amount to talk about, have we? My camera is going crazy, so if I was to talk about a game, you would not see my expressive face. So. <laughs> That's very true. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, <laughs> so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna talk about a game I've been playing. Mm -hmm. um, I was given a code for mm -hmm. review. Um, the game comes out today on the day of publishing which will be friday not today the day i'm talking about it mm -hmm. um and it's okay for me to talk about it for friday as we checked um and it's called the sojourn and it's uh, by a yes yeah it's by a developer called shifting tides uh, mm -hmm. and published by iceberg interactive and it is a first person puzzle game um 
it is a it's an interesting um, kind of mix when you when you kick straight into the game because you're presented. I didn't I didn't know it was going to be first person. I didn't really know much about the game other than I knew it was a puzzle game yeah. and I liked the art style to it. Yeah. So I thought, well, okay, yeah, this is you know, looks good. It's coming out on consoles, coming out on PC. I'll, I'll you know I'll, I'll take a look at this, mm -hmm. and um, you know I was kind of almost hit straight away by. Um, the same sort of feelings I got when I started, um, like Journey or mm. Rhyme, it's got a yeah. very similar, um, cel shaded kind of aesthetic to it. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, you know, there's there's almost no connection to the, the to the character. You, there's no starting um, cinematics or anything. You don't see kind of the character that you're playing. Mm -hmm. You just start in a dark room. You're almost as if your eyes open. Mm -hmm. And then you you follow a light through a set of tunnels, um, that then leads you onto the first few puzzles to mm -hmm. help you grasp the the different mechanics, and it kind of is a uh, it's kind of a platformer, but only really um, on a very limited kind of plane. So everything is really only at, at ground level. Uh, occasionally, mm -hmm. you might shift up to another level. Um, uh, in some of the later, in some of the later puzzles, but the the way that it, it deals with its puzzle mechanics is you're just wandering around the world, mm. and um, there may be a section which you can't get past, but near it is a pad with a nice big blue light shining up from it, and once you step onto this blue light, uh, you shift. I think it was called the dark world. Basically, you shift into mm. uh, like almost like another plane, and mm the lovely sort of sun-soaked, um, almost Middle Eastern aesthetic kind yeah. of uh, landscape becomes this very dark, purpley, midnight blue kind of shade. Mm -hmm. And when you're in that world, some of the um, some of the worlds, so like the bridges and things, will appear. And whilst you're in that state, you can then pass across that gap, essentially. Mm -hmm. um, you do have a timer, or more, not more of a, a timer, more of a like a distance meter with that different state. So you step on the pad, and then you can only move a certain distance before you're cut back into the okay. um, into the real world. We'll say. Mm. So um, I found with the first few sort of puzzles, they've done quite well at getting that distance, you know, really kind mm -hmm. of spot on. So there's not really any way to to cheat sort of getting over it when you start yeah. to get into the slightly more complicated kind of puzzles um and the the game you know expands on this and suddenly you can um whilst you're in that that dark world you can swap places with a statue so there's there's moments where actually you can shift yourself over here you then want to run over here shift the statue over there and then move somewhere else perhaps and there's yeah. some kind of like you know as you would do in a lot of puzzle games with like boxes and, and things like that this just just changes it up a little bit by giving you, you know, statues there's mm -hmm. other mechanics where you um whilst you're shifted you can um hit r2 and you kind of like ping a an almost like harp kind of statue and it will play a tune and whilst it's playing the tune um, some um, you know bridges will form or levels will rise and certain things will happen that then mm. allow you to pass through the landscape again um, it, it, it changes it up enough that that tune mm. is on a timer so okay. actually at some points you've got to work out the distance you need to kind of be right in front of that bridge so you can then hit the sort of the big harp get that bridge to rise and then walk over it knowing mm. that you're going to come out of the shifted well, but that doesn't matter because you're then on the bridge already when the music's playing, which is a slightly different set in a different state. So it plays very well at bringing in these different elements mm. and allowing you to kind of, um, you know, experiment and never be too sort of taxing. Um, I've no idea how far through I am. <laughs> so you play the first, I don't know, maybe 15 sort of puzzles and they're only they're only very sort of they're only very quick mm -hmm. um i probably spent i don't know maybe maybe 15 minutes or so 
on the first sort of set of puzzles before the game kind of then uh, doesn't open up yeah but it, it, it takes you to a slightly different setting a different place um, gets you to access puzzles in a slightly different way rather than it just being sort of a linear path that you're moving through rooms here's a puzzle into the next room here's a puzzle um, you kind of go to this, this this central space and you can kind of pick then what you want to do um, mm -hmm. or which puzzle you want to kind of uh, try and take on next um, and it seems to be upping the difficulty mm. but still bringing in new elements as well and it does it, it does it very gradually which is yeah. great and i think i've only maybe been um stuck on on two or three mm. uh, puzzles and actually what i think it's more my kind of it is my error and i've got yeah. to a state where i've moved things that i won't be i've moved things in a, in a way that actually i don't think i'll be able to work the puzzle out from where i've done with everything mm. so i then um sort of backtracking to put things back kind of where oh. it is or get to a point at least where i think rather than i i went over here and moved this statue over here and actually i think i had to move it over here because then i've got line of sight around here to be able to hit this pad run around move it over here that then allows a door to open for me to then progress through type thing so it's all kind of you know it's all very forgiving there's no lives you don't have a certain amount of time to have to do things it just works very, very well in each of the individual puzzles. And I might have lost Lucy completely. Abu. So, Lucy's back. Hey, camera is working-ish again. But Discord is going crazy. Right now I have two orange bars and then the writing says video connected in green, so... That tells you everything you need to know. Ah, brilliant. Discord today, so. It's enjoyable. Oh, and it's gone again. Yeah. Never mind. Oh, that's <laughs> fine. That's fine. Um, Good job so, we we're only going to do a quick one. Yeah, completely. Yeah. This is the worst technical issues I've ever had. Um, so anyway. I'm enjoying. I'm enjoying the game. Um, I want to keep going with it. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it, it's one that I think even with a couple of um, harder puzzles, no, nothing's ever been really frustrating. Mm -hmm. um, I, I'd like for it to maybe, um, you know, whatever the next set of puzzles are going to be, I'd like them to perhaps be a little more challenging. Mm -hmm. um, there are there are little bonuses. So once you've actually completed the puzzle. Um, you can you can just move on from them or another path will open up mm -hmm. and you've got to do sort of additional things in that puzzle to go and get a uh, you just collect like a little scroll and it just gives you a little lovely saying about being wise or some shit like that mm -hmm. um, <laughs> and you know i think that's much more for kind of like if you wanted to do like completionist sort of things if you do yeah. want um if you want a more difficult experience using the mechanics of the puzzle that have been presented to you yeah. you can you can you can do that um so uh i hope that maybe just the main puzzles you know in the next set do just jump up a little more in difficulty okay I kind of i know that i've got the basics of what i'm looking to do now um mm -hmm. and i'm understanding the nuance in some of the different levels where they want you to do one thing and it seems like the next thing you should do is quite apparent, but actually it's kind of like the opposite that you should do. So I'm kind of understanding how they're sort of, uh, they're putting their puzzles together. So yeah, I want a, I want a little bit more difficulty from it. Mm -hmm. um, is this is it a game that you've looked at? Yeah, I, I, saw, I saw it um, a few months ago maybe. Yeah. And yeah, it, it's definitely got like Witness, um, mm. like Taylor's Principle, like kind of vibes to it. Yeah, as it you does. say that yeah. first person looks like quite mysterious world. Are you getting anything from that world? Are you getting? Are you interested in the lore behind it and stuff um, like that? It, it's it's presented itself um, quite um, uh, in sort of a limited way, really. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, you're basically most of the time you're following this little light source, yeah. of like almost like navy that just you know floats along kind of in front of you. Mm -hmm. um, and when you get to some areas, some of them aren't puzzles. You'll move into a room, and actually the, the little light source will spin around a bit and will present some statues to you. 
and it's kind of telling a story through the through the statues so the first level was called birth and basically it was the statues of some parents with some blindfolds on holding a child mm-hmm. and you progress through and the child gets to i don't know a, a certain age probably from the height maybe six seven eight something around there and mm-hmm. then is it goes to a, a tower mm. and you then see a few more um statues of of the of that kid and other children as well all with blindfolds on at this point um mm-hmm. in in this tower you know there's one of them like flying a kite in there um there's ones they're sat with a merchant um so i don't know what is going on yet um yeah, we didn't know what was going on with Rhyme though. <laughs> yeah, <at> that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. So, who, who I mean, and even it. with the witness, mm-hmm. you know, there was yeah. that underlying kind of story to it mm-hmm. that didn't really reveal itself until you kind of got right to the end, almost. Which I'm um, too stupid to do. Uh, no. Yes. Mm, yes. <laughs> it's one of my. I have to do it one day. It's one of those games where it's like I have to do it eventually, but it's mm. like I have to start it from the beginning every single time I go back to it. Like absolutely, yeah. I, I so I got to a point. I so I didn't finish the witness, mm. but because I'd ended up in the mountain at the end and mm. wanted to do that insane set of puzzles that were all timed and wanted yeah. to get that mountain done before I then went on and finished it, and I just mm. never did and i put it down yeah. but i think yeah. with the witness you know i'm i i th- think i feel a little bit differently like i don't think i need to finish it i think <sighs> i've got I want a to. lot from that game yeah um it's it's it... one of my biggest shames for myself <laughs> that i haven't finished it but um yeah, yeah in terms of like the timing puzzle because like the sojourn like i that was the worst thing about the witness i feel like that kind of it's like the witness is very like oh i can sit and think and i have time to sit and think about it mm-hmm. but when you have to start in timing elements and like musical em- elements as well because i'm not yeah. too great at like musical like hearing notes and stuff like that i don't know if sejourn exactly does that but like no it no it it's doesn't not, it's, it's not it's... okay it doesn't rely on that yeah no it doesn't rely on that it's it's essentially mm-hmm. just you hit a um a, a, another it's a statue cue. it's just yeah. a cue yeah, yeah. and music okay. will play in the background but it's mm-hmm. only to a timer essentially yeah. and those things will only stay around to pass mm-hmm. through for a certain amount yeah. of time uh, but yeah like the than... t- timing puzzles it's like mm. Mm, they're a bit i mean know. they are but they're not mm. they're not super you know i've never felt that i've had to really rush okay and you're not you're not put in a room and it's a like a a minute countdown type thing Uh um you 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 walk into this into the puzzle and you can take as much time as you want to kind of survey it and and do things it's only the the timing element only really ever comes up in um i say timing in the distance you can travel with being Mm -hmm. in the in the dark world so that limits Mm -hmm. you in that way and then the time comes up in the music one um basically it just says for 10 seconds these these bridges are going to be built and you've got 10 seconds to get over them essentially so oh no she's gone again Ah! so lucy is back Mm -hmm. um so we'll we'll finish we'll finish our chat on the sojourn and the witness and all these other puzzle games Mm -hmm. there for this week Mm -hmm. i'm going to take a little bit more time with it and probably put out something written um next week maybe mm-hmm. about it uh once i've once i've finished it i think it, i think i should be able to to get through it i'm not sure as i say how long it is um but i can't see it being you know another few hours yeah um so yeah we shall i shall report back um good stuff that, that it kind looks of... really good yeah yeah it looks it, like it, something it's... that's up my i like those kinds of games like yeah the cube too i think oh what's was it the was it called the Numa something? That was early Xbox One game. That was like first Don't person. Uh, I think it's. I think it was an exclusive or something. It was like mm. built in like Unreal Engine Four, and it just looked really pretty. Yeah. But yeah, this is. Yeah, that was a much more like kind of realistic style. But yeah, this like kind of muted palette to it. That, as you mm. said, rhyme and journey and stuff like that. Yeah, it looks good. 
Yeah, yeah. And it's got some nice <laughs> sort of music, very ethereal kind of music that goes along with it as well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's just a, just a well-packaged um, puzzle game. So, yeah, yeah. yeah. We do love our puzzle games. We do, not? absolutely. Mm. That's why I wanted to talk about it as well, because yeah. I knew that you'd you'd want to hear yeah. about it as well. Definitely. Yeah, it's on my radio. I didn't know it was coming out so soon. Um, the, the only thing that I know is coming out is Apple Arcade. And Oh, yes. God, I'm going to have like 50 games to play, and I'm just gonna, <laughs> and my head's going to explode. So When is that? Cool. Is that this week? That's tomorrow. It yeah. launches, and I just see like all these games that I've been following, and I'm just like, oh, I wonder when that's coming out. I wonder when that's coming out. They all come out like tomorrow, so that's fantastic. <laughs> but yeah, cheers, Apple. <laughs> just a week off work, mate. Whole week off work. <laughs> no, I even get through time. all of them. No, you need. I need like six months. <laughs> <laughs> there's so many, and there's so many I want to play. I hope they are just like smaller experiences, like maximum of four hours. Is this is this the first drop of games on it? Yeah, but I don't know how many there's going to be. I think it's just going to be like a. It seems like they're just packing. In the front with like all the air commenting, like some Sarah Walter. That's something cool is coming out. Uh, I think Rayman Mini is going to come out tomorrow as well. It's just like everything. Like every goddamn thing, Neo Cab, Jenny LeClue. Oof, it's, it's very <laughs> just, I feel depressed. <laughs> oh thinking. no, don't feel depressed. Uh, it's great because it's like, I would have bought all these games piecemeal. Might have played them on different um, like platforms, but since yeah. it's like, you know, you can do a free month trial as well. I'm just going to, it's like, yeah, this game's a five pound a piece on the Apple Store. I probably would pay like I don't know twenty pounds on other platforms to play them. Yeah, seems like a steal. And these games are like, these are games that I looking for have been looking forward to for ages. And like newly announced games like Mini Motorways. Yes, from Mini Metro people, which will continue my love of um, traffic management games. <laughs> yeah, because that's um, something that I've done this year. But yeah, and then I'll probably get it and just play some point-and-click adventure game from like 1992 instead. Yeah. So there you yeah, go. absolutely. Yeah. Uh, that's that's like. fine. You just got to enjoy the experiences that you you yeah. take from it, haven't you? Like, mm. you know, no one can play all of the games. No. Apart and from it's... that, apart from that guy who's platinumed every game ever on the PlayStation Versic. or something like that. Versic. But that, it's Versic. just there's some people who have like uh, continuous ex Xbox achievement streak for like the last fifteen years. <laughs> <laughs> no, thank you but yeah it's a it's a shame that you're not in either of the game pass or apple arcade mm. ecosystems because it's mm. like it, that's all i need no. yeah. mm -hmm. <laughs> that's you done now yeah forever. and to buy a million switch games as well yeah so, that's true yeah there you go <laughs> yeah that's nice. me done done and dusted that's the games i didn't play this week Good. I know we um, we we talked about last week um, mm -hmm. the, the, a couple of upcoming games which we um, which we want to play. Uh, I know our entitled Goose Game is this week as well. Yeah, it's Friday. Friday. I hope that's just a nice, pleasant two-hour experience. Yeah. And I'm just like in and out. I had a fun time with this goose. Mate, five, I'm done. It. I'm good with five minutes. <laughs> just steal, steal yeah. some hats yes. for five minutes, honk at some cats, and just be done. Not worry about it. Yeah, it's like um, their previous game. People might not know their previous game. It was called Push Me, Pull You, I think. Yeah. Uh, the wrestling game, and it's like, mm. did I buy that? I can't. Remember. I think I bought it, and I was just like, didn't play it for long, but it was just nice hearing those icky human body sounds, and it's oh, like I was happy. Me. And it was like, yeah. That. <laughs> That's stickiness, yeah. Mm, mm, like, yeah. All I need to hear is the goose go honk, and that's yeah. it. I'll be happy. <laughs> that's it. Fifteen that's pounds worth of spend. Yeah. <laughs> yes, Aww. good game. What else was the? Uh, what was the other uh, game? The other one was the um, the the finger licking dating sim. Oh, God, the yeah. Colonels. That might be out thing. next week. We're, yeah. we're not ready for that. No, I don't think anyone's Nobody ready is. for that. <laughs> Link's Awakening is out on Friday. 
Yes. So yeah, it's a big week. It's an oddly big week mm-hmm. for loads of releases. Yeah. Loads of stuff coming out in the next few days, especially with uh, mm-hmm. with Apple Arcade sort of yeah. releasing as well. Um, why why are there so many games? I don't know. I, I want it to get to like October, November when there's nothing out other than Doom. Yeah, Call of Duty and Doom. Yeah, but I'm not, not playing play Call of Duty. That. Let's just no. play Doom. Yeah, I'm not going to play Call of Duty or we'll see how that Star Wars game goes, but I'll probably oh, just pick yeah. it up at EA Access. Oh, yeah. It'll probably be delayed, but um, <laughs> we haven't heard anything <laughs> like about two it, days so. before release. Like yeah. actually, mm, yeah, let's give us another six months. Mm, just make it tight and full free, and let everyone be happy. Um, mm, or Anthem, one of the two. That's in EA Access now, I believe. <laughs> so that's the current state of Anthem. Absolutely. Mm. <laughs> yeah, there's not many big games out this winter. Mm. Other than, you know, the ones that are coming out of Nintendo, just like third party ones. There's not many, is there? No. I mean, you got Death Stranding and, you know, Pokemon, but like third parties, I can only think of like oh, Call of Duty and Doom. Call of Duty, Doom, um, there's no um, there's no Battlefield or Battlefront game this year from, um, from DICE. Mm. There's, there's not no... even a Forza. There's not even a Forza this year. Oh, shit. Yeah. When's oh, bum? Is that is that next year? Probably. Coming <laughs> yeah, well, out next does year. Seem, does seem like everything was kind of yeah. kind of shifted to next year. Yeah. And then you Cyberpunk it gets announced, and everything's like, oh fuck. <laughs> yeah. Just wait till next year. <laughs> I'm just gonna shift everything out. Like, it will be next year's gonna be insane. Years. This year's yeah. been really weird. It's felt really mm. odd. Like there's not been a huge amount of like big marquee titles coming yeah. out this year. It's like talking about like game of the year. Just thinking about that, it's like Resident Evil Two's still up there. It's yeah. like how, how did that happen? And it's like when I'm just thinking about games that I enjoyed this year, it's like nothing hit as hard home as like you know God of War, Red Dead, Celeste. Yeah, absolutely. Thinking yeah. about them all year round, like I uh, this year has been like yeah, I really enjoyed that. Didn't mm. stick with me though. Other than like Resident Evil and Bloodstained, not much. No, no, I mean, it's like this is year where Crackdown could genuinely be like number eleven. <laughs> <laughs> that's, a, that's that kind of year. Honorable mention, Terry Crews. <laughs> yes. <laughs> because it's like, oh yeah, I enjoyed that. I forgot about that game, but that's like every game this year, like Void Bastards. I really enjoyed that game. Yeah. Forget about it all the time. <laughs> mm, yeah, completely. I mean, my 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 two my top two currently are still oh, yeah. uh, Plague Tale, Innocence, mm. and Observation. And both of which I need to get around to playing. Well, mm. it, it's just kind of like they're sort of a bit uh, mid tier is a bit of a I don't like to, uh, you know they're not mid tier. Mm. They're very good, very well produced games. Yeah, they're just not off the scale of the games yes. we got last year. Yes, and it just doesn't feel like there's been anything. You know, Metro was was a, a bigger budget game but didn't feel as true to the kind of mm. the metro franchise as the previous games you know there's there's loads i mean when we talk about game of the year it's mm. gonna be a really interesting conversation this year yeah because there's no like hey we played red dead we've we fucking yeah. loved it hey we played god of war we fucking loved it hey celeste was fucking fantastic hey florence that was brilliant and just yes. you know every game we fucking gushed about it's going to be it's... a top three and like 16,000 runner-ups because we yeah, all forgot yeah. about them. Yeah, it really <laughs> is. And it's going to be, well, you know, and, and uh, you'll probably play a Plague Tale and go, yes. yeah, that was fine. But, and, and really we can have a good conversation. Yeah, yeah. I, I just haven't got back. I don't know why, because that opening's really, really strong. Yeah. I just think yeah, I wasn't is. in the mood for rats eating my face at the time. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, I'm not sure if I'm in the mood now. <laughs> But, well, that's um, fine. There's a, yeah, there's a free trial. Um, yes, that was released for it, so I think people should check that out. Hopefully, that gives much more exposure because, I mean, you've gushed about it, and just like the opening chapter is really powerful. So, mm. if the rest of the game is, you know, maybe not on par, but like close to that, yeah, I really, it's, it, I've put, I've listed my games that I have to play this year, and that's the top one. So yeah, nice. And I need to play Gears Five. Christ. Yeah. That too. The thing with Gears Five is like I know Gears controls inside and out, so it's like it's not gonna be a problem going back to it. It's like I know how to active mm-hmm. reload and run. I know all the buttons. 
Plague Tale might have to restart. So. Yeah, and that's fair. Yeah, I don't think it's not that. It's not that complicated of a nah, control. No, not at all. Um, but it's like yeah. um, I did like throw a rock instead of like um, you know catapulting it with the your little, yes, slingshot. Yeah. yeah, I just threw it at somebody. So it's like. <laughs> Oops, wrong button, wrong thing. Oops. Oh dear. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so. Nice. Mm. All right, should we finish there for this week? I believe we should. Yes. Um, did your beard grow on you at all through the? Through yeah, the definitely, definitely. Yeah. yeah, it got me back to that comforting place of Dea, and yeah, it grew on me. Yeah, it's just nice. a really pleasant. It sits well, it's just nice, it's just easy to drink, it's not abrasive, it's just soft and creamy and pleasant and a hug in a can. Nice. Mm. That's what you want. Yeah. Um, this Polly's, uh, that bitterness did um, it did simmer down a little bit. I've come a, mm -hmm. a little bit accustomed to it. Yeah. And actually the, the flavour for 7.2%, um, it's actually very light. Mm -hmm. you know, I'm getting quite a light, um, almost, uh, you know, rather than a rather than a juicy um, uh, sort of big hit, I'm getting much more of a watered down, almost like a squash kind of uh, level of flavour from it. Mm -hmm. um, you know, quite delicate pineapple flavours coming through. Um, and then with that bitterness just easing off in, the, say, the back half of the can, it kind of just lost a little bit of the excitement maybe that I kind of had in those first few sips. Um, still solid, still a good beer, still one that I would drink again. Mm -hmm. I think I'd probably like to try it uh, on tap rather than in a, in a can, yeah. see if that gives, yeah. gives it anything, anything more. Um, and, you know, I've actually probably been happy with, um, you know, a, a half or two thirds or something like that um you know again i think it's uh, 440 it's probably around about the right sort of size for mm -hmm. um, for what i've what i've had so yeah two quite different beers in mm -hmm. similar sort of ways both um, good. yeah <laughs> both good both it's good so it's good yeah <laughs> lucy if yeah. people would like to talk to you and tell you about how much they love daya how do they do that mm, well what they should do really is just buy me a few cases, That's come up idea. to mine, and then we can share a lovely chat about how much we like them. But anyway, That's the best idea. if you don't do that, which understandable, um, it's <laughs> Juicy Loose 9 everywhere. <laughs> nice. I'm at Nova underscore 47 almost everywhere. We are tanked up cast almost everywhere on Twitter and on Instagram at least. We are Out of Lives over on Facebook, on YouTube, and at outoflives.net. We can go to read lots of articles, listen to other podcasts, and um, watch some videos on the YouTube pages. Um, I was going to stream again this week, but mm -hmm. I brought a house instead, so <laughs> streaming went out of the window. <laughs> I mean, priorities, Ben, like what are you doing? Yeah, I know, I know exactly. I did think how many of my two adoring fans from last week would have been disappointed. Uh, one of them was Mr. Moody, and I, I think he's probably okay with not watching me stream whatever. He I was, was going, going to stream. buy you a house because he loved your stream so much. So, <gasps> oh, now I spent all this money. <laughs> um, I should have streamed instead. Yeah. Oh dear. Right, we should be back at full strength next week, I would imagine. Mm. Several beers, additional people. Yeah. And at some point in the future, we're also going to have Mr. Uh, MC Fixer, Corey, is going to join us. Oh, in the he next didn't few sanction weeks. this. Mate, he's going to come on. <laughs> we've, we've, been, we've been chatting about it for long yeah. enough now. I yeah. think he's. Uh, I think. I think we're going to find a week in the next couple of, uh, or at least in the next month or so, to get him on. So oh, exciting! Yeah, he's not going to drink beer though, is he? He's going to drink cider. No, that's fine. He's going to drink some dirty uh, scrumpy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. He's drink. I'm not sure. I'm not sure he'll get quite down to scrumpy. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> I, I don't know what it's going to be, but it's going to be find dirty. Out. It's going to be strongbow. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> strongbow dark fruits, probably. Cider of choice. Yeah. Recordling berries or something hey like I'd, I'd take that over the strong though any day <laughs> that's fair enough mm. so recordling just tastes like pot 
It doesn't taste like mm. your insides are being destroyed slowly like Strongbow does. <laughs> all bubbling up. <laughs> and it just melts through yeah. you. Yeah, absolutely. Mm. I've got some stories about cider that I'll probably share when he comes Hooray. on. Hooray! I but for this well. week, white lightning, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's going to be so brutal. Yeah. Uh, I'm glad this week's been nice and relaxed and quiet. Mm. Yes. But that's it for us this week. We've been tagged up. Bye. Ta-ra. www.outoflives.net